meet Mirt Mullen. This man is the worst player in EAFC 24 career mode, but we are about to change this man's destiny. We are going to win a Ballon d'Or with the worst player in the world. 47 overall and just 55 potential playing for Shandong Taishan in the Chinese Super League. I mean, just look at those stats. A striker with 46 shooting. And if it wasn't for his penalty stats, he wouldn't have a single shooting stat above 50. The only thing this dude has going for him is his age and his pace. Somehow I've got to make this guy the best player in the world. It's time to build the foundations though and get those finishing stats up. We're trying to give him five-star weak foot. He is so far down the pecking order though. They have Marouane Fellaini playing striker before him. Mullen is going to be the new target man. I'm sorry, Shandong fans. You might have a little bit of a tough go now. We do have a very good support system here though. This midfield is absolutely stacked. Let's see if we can score at least one goal this season, please. And I want zero competition here at the striker role. We are going to make it so that we have no choice but to play him. Starting in January 2023, though, gives us an advantage because it gives us an extra year to work on him. Step one, build the foundations. Step two, make him the greatest player in Chinese football. And if we can do that in the first five years, I'll be very confident. You know what, lads? That is not a terrible first season. Three goals is a great start. I genuinely thought we weren't going to score a single goal, but we have bagged three goals in 25 games this season. To be fair, our attacking midfielder Moises went absolutely berserk. 25 goals. But lads, I would like to say a big thank you to Metaball for sponsoring today's video. Metaball is the ultimate sports league on a hoverboard. In this fast-paced, action-packed sports game, do impressive tricks and goals as you compete in thrilling PvP matches. And it is now available for early access on PC and in open beta for PlayStation and Xbox. Metaball is a free-to-play competitive multiplayer sports game with full cross-play enabled, meaning you can challenge challenge or team up with your mates in game. And to reward the early access and open beta players, the premium meta pass will be unlocked and free to access for all players until the 31st of January, 2024. Those rewards contain exclusive items that will never be available again. And all received items during this time period will still be available for you when the full game is released. So you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Go download Metaball and give it a go. Once again, on Steam, you've got early access and on console, you've got the open beta. Click the link in the description to check it out for yourself. Thank you again to Metaball for sponsoring today's video and supporting the channel. Looking at these stats, I'm curious to see the table because so many of the players in our team have had belter seasons. But most importantly, I'm just praying that our potential goes up at the season two. Oh, I take back my apology to the fans of Shandong. We have won our first bit of silverware in our first season. This could be a very successful career. We were also in the Asian Champions League where we got grouped by Al Nassar, Cristiano Ronaldo and Al Nassar, but we did finish ahead of the Central Coast Mariners. We could genuinely make this one of the most successful careers in world football. And I have renewed the contract four years and made, given us the important first team player role. So hopefully that gets us playing every single game. Roll on season number two in what has already been a very successful start. You are taking the piss. You are actually taking the piss. I cannot believe what I've just witnessed. I've checked our potential in the in-game coding. It started at a 55. I was happy with how things went last year. It's gone down to a 51. You're trying to tell us we can only go up plus one this year and we're at 19 years of age. The game is basically giving us the middle finger and saying they don't think me at Mullen can have a good career. Oh, I'm actually, I'm actually annoyed at that. We're just going to have to keep on trying to build our base up here and pray that we can have some good seasons to boost up that potential because things have taken a ma- How do I go back minus four overall in a season? I've been trying to keep an eye on who's winning the Ballon d'Or in these early stages of the career, but I think because we're not playing in Europe, we actually can't see the Ballon d'Or race or ceremony. Maybe you can't win the Ballon d'Or playing outside of Europe, so which means we're gonna need to make a move at some point. But something tells me nobody's going to want us in Europe if we're 51 overall with zero potential. We went up one 
overall this year. We doubled our goal tally and got our first career assist. Come on, EA. Surely that's got to get us some overall. It's got to get us some potential boost here. And we're officially five-star skill moves, five-star weak foot. I'm throwing on balance for right now. In fact, I'm going to go poacher to get those shooting stats up even more. But we're doing everything right. We just need the game to give us potential. Because I'm genuinely surprised we bagged six goals this year, being 51 overall. That normally doesn't happen in these videos. But we have had a massive fall off in the Chinese Super League this season outside of the playoff pitch, outside of the, the Champions League spots as we finish sixth with Shandong. Al Nassar win back to back Asian Champions Leagues whilst we made it out of the group stage this year, but got absolutely thumped by Cristiano Ronaldo. This is actually ridiculous. Our potential has stayed at a 51. We've had zero growth, zero growth. If we don't get any growth, this season, this career might be over before it even began. We don't have, like, we had time on our side to begin with, but we've only gone up to a 51 at this point. Oh my God. We need to pray that we have a great, like, we need double digit goals this year. We need to do something to show EA. We need to make sure we keep this team strong though. I don't want to fall down the table and be trying to rescue our career and the club. So we're going to sign Jesus Bueno, Ivan Caballero, and Jorge Martinez. All these guys trying to make sure we stay at the top of Chinese football. I don't understand how we've gone up to a 52 overall. Our potential is 51 and we've gone up to a 52 overall, which means we're going to have to be going up to a 52 potential next year at least. Seven goals. So at least we're getting more and more goals every season. But man, we're 21 years of age and 52 overall. If our potential hasn't gone up next year, oh my God. Why can't we be getting stats like Fair Nandua? I mean, I guess he is almost 20 overall higher than us. Second in the Chinese Super League this year though, so we're gonna be playing Champions League football again next year. Going to a poacher though is slowly getting our shooting stats up, which is nice. At least everything except for our long shots now and volleys are 50 or above. It's not the end of the world. It's a nice moment, but a couple years of okay football has got our potential back up to what it was at the start. 55 potential. We need a big move, man. We need to change this up. You may have noticed that we signed a free agent striker and that is because i am going to explore our options here i'm going to put mullen on the transfer list i want to see if we can get an offer from like a low irish league team or something like that because whilst we're playing in china there are still some really good players throughout all the teams so i would rather come up against the center backs that are like 58 overall than center backs that are like 65 overall but i would genuinely not be surprised if we got zero transfer offers we got one here to go to india we could go to the Indian Super League with Hyderabad, but I'm not going to do that because I feel like we would encounter a very similar thing where there's a few like Australian players that have gone over there and a few random players that are in the mid to high 60s. I'm trying to stat pad with the best of them. Punjab FC, come on, man. I want like UCD or some like random Irish club to come in for us. We're getting plenty of Indian and Chinese clubs coming in. Not good enough though. I also want to go to Europe so we can start seeing who's winning the Ballon d'Ors. The window has come and gone. We haven't got an offer for me at Mule and that one sus that makes us want to move. So we're going to be staying in the Chinese Super League with Taishan. <laughs> Got to get rid of this striker that I picked up. And we need to pray for a season that is going to get the ball rolling. Can we get double digits this year? Double digits, boys. Come on. Oh, we're actually having such a good start because when I've done these videos in the past, like the first couple years, we're lucky to even score two or three goals. We've got double digits here, surely. Stop sleeping on my boy. Stop sleeping on Mule and EA. Going to try again, trying to get a move next year. Second top goal scorer in the team, though. The finishing is now at a 62, and we have added another Chinese Super League to the trophy cabinet. But we got grouped again in the Champions League. We can dominate China, but we can't dominate Sydney FC, and that makes me sad. Finally starting to get some recognition we've gone up plus five in the potentials this year to 60 potential with me at Mullen and no surprise again I am throwing him on the transfer list 22 years of age 54 overall we need to start having some insane seasons again though King Dao I, I respect how much they want us they've come in for us again this year come on yes this is what we wanted Drahida United an Irish club are we about to get our move 
to Irish football and European football. And despite me signing about seven new strikers to make sure that this wouldn't happen and the game wouldn't glitch out, it's glitched out and the transfer talks have broken down. I'm so annoyed right now. If we can't find a move to a team like this for Mullen by the end of the window, I honestly might just change clubs and sign him myself. I'm giving it till deadline day and if nothing happens, then I'm moving. You're only getting them from Rong Chang and Punjab FC. I want to go to Drahida so bad, man. That just feels right in my soul. All right, screw it, lads. Drahida, United, here we come. We're here in Ireland. Let's go get our man over. Surely we can get him for 160,000. Pounds. I want Drahida to get the bargain of the century because this dude is about to become a superstar. At least we're trying to do that. I don't want it to break down at any point in negotiations. We're going to get him in now and make sure he joins us before deadline day. I'm giving him Porton as well so, he make, so we make sure that he starts. Five-year deal works for me. No release clause accepted. And those terms and conditions work for me. Me at Mullen. Welcome, mate. Pleasure to work with you again. Me at Mullen to Drahida United. This is where I want your career to kick into overdrive. And we're actually following the exact same schedule as the Chinese Super League coming to the Irish League here. We're in January. The season hasn't started yet, which is awesome. We're going to get a full Irish League season under our belts. And we can start finding out who won Ballon d'Ors. Hey, we can finally see who's going to win the Ballon d'Or. Raphael Liao, Kylian Mbappe, Erling Haaland, and Vinicius all nominated this year. And the Ballon d'Or goes to Kylian Mbappe. You better watch out, Kylian. We're coming for you in like 10, 15 years. Also kind of offended we didn't win the Young Player of the Year award. Although to be fair, we're like 23, 24 now. We might not even, even we might not be eligible for the Young Player. We're not young in footballing terms. Top goal scorer in our first year here in Ireland. 10 goals with Mia Mullen at Drogheda to United, but only a plus one growth since we joined. We started 54, so we've gone up plus two this year. But man, we didn't dominate the league by any stretch of the imagination. And I can see why. We joined the worst team in Ireland. 24 points, bottom of the Irish League. We're going to need to almost rebuild Drogheda United and make them a super team here in Ireland if we want to get our career off the ground. I'm not surprised, lads. No more plus five growth in the potential column. Our potential only goes up plus two to a 62. When we changed clubs as well, it put us back onto the balance scheme. So I'm going to go back to the poacher here and just try. If Once we get our finishing up into the 70s, then I might go to a different strategy. But right now, we need goals and we need to stat pad if we're going to get that potential up. You can tell why we finished bottom of the league with this team. We need to do some serious improvements to this squad this season. This is what the squad looks like right now, and I'm about to go absolutely in. I'm going to use and abuse free agents. So say hello to the new Drahida United in three, two, one. Bang! Look at the God bless free agents, to be totally honest. God bless free agents. We have got some of the world's best young prospects into this Drahida United side, and I'm hoping all these guys can grow and turn us into a top of the table side and help Mullen get himself on the right track. Let's go find out what this season has in store. Again, so similar to last year with the Ballon d'Ors. No regens appearing yet. Rodrigo added to the mix though. No Mbappe this year. Haaland is the Ballon d'Or winner in 2028. Come on, lads. A career best season here with me at Mullen. 15 goals, three assists, plus three growth. Man, all I'm hoping, all I'm hoping next year I'll take the plus three growth as long as our potential grows up. Surely it will. We definitely made the right decision, though, improving this squad. Anderson looks like he was just delivering for us. Some of these guys look so clutch. And we didn't get last in the Irish League. Let's go, lads. We finished 18 points away from the title, but not bottom like UCD. Here we are, 24 years of age, 59 overall, our potential, whilst when you step back and look at it, is pretty damn bad, but for where we've come from is decent. We are 69 potential right now. Man, I'm getting to the point where we're probably going to be a Jamie Vardy. We're going to need to rely on the final few years of our career because we're taking so long. We cannot afford to have an off-season at this point. We need to be going bang, 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 10, 15, 20, 100 goals every single season. And this year for the Ballon d'Or, the exact same players are nominated. Will Haaland go back to back? 
No, he will not. We are back to Mbappe winning the Ballon d'Or. Year after year, we're putting our best foot forward. We're getting like 14 goals is nice. But man, the thing that's distressing me is how much we still have to do. Plus four growth. It's the most growth we've had in the season since season one. 14 goals. But man, we're going to need like 20, 30 a season from here on in. I would have definitely taken the season that Dumbia had. 73 overall, 17 goals, eight assists, 14 and five for Bubakar Fati. We get 14 and we were selfish this year. Zero assists. I have kept our stat, like our plan on Pocha. Our finishing is now 77. I'm going to go back to balance and try getting us more of a well-rounded player. I am praying that makes the difference. So close to first place in the Irish League as well. We're going to be playing some sort of European football next year, but... We finished third in the Irish League with Drahida. We're definitely not winning silverware like we anticipated when we were at Shandong. I am praying that we load up our potential next year and it's cracked the 70s. 69 last year, what's it gonna be next year? Our potential goes up plus three. I'll take that, it's 72. I honestly, we need to get as close to that as possible with our overall this season. 72 potential. 63 overall with the worst player in the world. We're getting to the crucial stages, lads. And I have heard that if you do subscribe to the channel down below, it increases our chances of having a good season. Just a rumor, just a rumor. Man United fans are gonna like this one. Number one, why is it so dark right now in terms of the lighting? But you've got Ansu Fadi, Vinicius, Mbappe, and Erasmus Hoyland. No more Haaland in there, no more Rodrigo. Fati and Hoyland are into the squad or rather into the nominations. And the Ballon d'Or goes to Mbappe, all these new faces, and it's bloody Kylian Mbappe once again. Come on, we bag 20 plus goals for the first time in our career. 22 goals, just one assist. At least it's not a donut, but 22 goals and plus four growth there for 26 year old me at Mullen. I have debated moving clubs or seeking a transfer, but I think for as long as we can, we just need to absolutely dominate here. We've won our first trophy in the Irish League, top of the league here. What's that? 15 points ahead of St. Pat's. So we dominated. We crushed it. 70 goals and just 34 goals against. That is an incredible year. Still no domestic cup though. And we were in the conference league where we finished third in our group. Seven points though is still nothing to turn your nose up at. Things definitely feel like they're trending in the right direction. But the big question is whether we have left it too late. People around the world are starting to notice me at Mule and ladies and gentlemen, our potential now has a us, maybe in our career, getting a gold card on Ultimate Team. Me at Mullen up to a 77 in the potential stakes. It's probably never been more important for us to have an incredible season. The momentum is rolling. We have been working our whole career towards this. The ball is rolling. We need to capitalize. And the investments we made in our second season at Drahida are starting to really pay off for us. This team is starting to become really good. So we've set ourselves up for an incredible season with Newland. But to be fair, setting ourselves up and executing are a whole different conversation. Oh, we narrowly missed out on 20 goals again, but 18 is still a great improvement. That's a good season. That's surely going to keep momentum going. And we got double the amount of assists from last year. So yeah, we're doing something right. Just the plus two growth though, up to a 69. I'm hoping we're going to have a breakout season here soon and get like a four, five, six overall season because that's what we're really going to need. Like we need to be into our... 80s in the next two, three years. Like by the time we hit 30, we need to be in the 80s. Otherwise we might be fucked. Back-to-back -back champions of Ireland. And we finally won the Irish League Cup. We were in the Europa League this year, but we got grouped. It would genuinely be pretty hype if we could rebuild this Drahita side and get them a Champions League title. Or even if we were able to win the Ballon d'Or while still at Drahita. We'll see how we're going. We might need to make a move though. Time, time will tell. We might not even get in Ballon d'Or contention at this point. There is hope. There is hope. There is hope. Our potential is 83. I'm waiting for the day that the status bar changes and we will finally not just be an at the club or contract expiring status and we'll have the potential to be special. But 83 here with Mule and I'm telling you, 
there is a chain reaction in career mode. When it comes to dynamic potential, all you need is a couple of good seasons and your career just goes crazy. And then a couple of bad ones can tank your career. I'm gonna work on getting our long shots, our dribbling ball control, a lot of those things up so that we can improve our opportunity to score from anywhere. I'm trying to make us lethal so that we don't limit ourselves to only getting tap-in goals. I'm so confused, man. The past two years I've been going, oh, we won, we won player of the month, let's go. Oh, we're 74, okay, that's a nice surprise. I was about to go on a rant and be like, I can't find the Ballon d'Or winner. I've gone day to day for the past month. It always happens late October, October early November. It isn't showing me who's winning the Ballon d'Or. God, this game is just so broken at times. Please, lads, do not spend your own money on this game. I'm hoping that whenever we find ourselves in contention, we can actually see the ceremony. What a season, lads. 20 goals this year, 74 overall. We've gone up plus five, man. Fatty. Bubakar Fatty might be turning into an absolute superstar as well. If we leave clubs, if we move away from Drahida, we might have to go and sign him depending on where we go. And I'm glad as well. Our dribbling's gone up. Our long shots are gone up. Short pass has gone up. We'll reassess and maybe go back to balance next year. Winning the Irish League here with Drahida, though, is almost a guarantee at this point. And winning the Irish Cup is trending in the same direction. We have gone from the Conference League group stages to the Europa League group stages to now eliminated in the Champions League group stages. Granted, that is an unbelievably difficult group. Arsenal, Real Madrid, and Celtic. We did good to even get one win, and it was over Arsenal. But with three seasons in a row where we've bagged goals around the 20 goal mark, we could be anything next year. Lads, our Jamie Vardy arc is alive and well. Age 28, 74 overall, our potential goes up up to an 88. The ball is rolling. I feel like a broken record, but this season needs to be massive again. Finally, the Ballon d'Or cutscene is back, and there is Martinelli Viper. We've got players. We've got a bunch of regens now. Two regens, two real players, Villarreal player. It's getting to that stage of the simulation. And the Ballon d'Or is going to go to Martinelli. Martinelli playing at Juventus is going to win the 2033 Ballon d'Or. But we're going to have to live up to our potential and have a great season here if we want to even get close to that soon. We genuinely might end up becoming the world's oldest Ballon d'Or winner. Plus four growth to a 78. We have finally cracked a gold card here. Plus four growth, 27 goals and three assists. It's the biggest season we've had in our career. Fatty as well. But Bulacar thought he's going to win a Ballon d'Or before we do. Maybe though, maybe next year, it might be time to make a move to a bigger European club. We have stat padded so long at Drogheda, and I imagine we're going to have a potential in the 90s next year. Although we are into the preliminary round of the Europa League, taking on Benfica, maybe we stay if we can go on a European run. No surprise to see yet another victory here though in the Irish League. In regards to overall, our team might be one of the best in Irish league history. And I'm not just talking about our goalkeeper, but honestly, whether we stay at Drogheda United or move to another club in Europe is gonna depend solely on our potential as we head into the next season. Jesus Christ, man, it's 94. 94 potential, that's what I'm telling you. The accumulation factor in career mode with dynamic player potential is unbelievable. 78 overall, 94 potential. Our market value is 30 million pounds. We're gonna add ourselves to the transfer list and see what else is out there. But if we have to stay at Drahida United and go on a run, that is not the worst case scenario. I'm only looking to move if it's the right fit. And the first offer comes in here for Crystal Palace. That would be, f I feel like we're not gonna get offers from big clubs. Like, I wanna go to a club where we can dominate, but I feel like in a league like the Premier League, we're going to have to go to a club like Crystal Palace rather than a Man United or a City. I would be open to going to like a Benfica or a Porto, a club like that. We'll see what comes in. Clermont Foot, yeah, I don't, I don't want to go there. Sheffield United coming in for 34 mil. Yeah, Sam, we might have to we might have to spend another season at the club here and just get our over up even higher and just hope a bigger club can come in in the future. This just ain't the move. Heidenheim, Levante, Granada. We're pulling him off the transfer list. Going to renew the contract 
contract as well. Get him a little bit more money in his back pocket. And now we put all of our energy and hopes into praying that we can go on a Europa League run and get ourselves 30 plus goals for the first time in our career. I wanted to check in though for our Europa League run. Benfica, first leg at home here in Ireland, which we lose 2-1. Our man scores a goal, but our Europa League run might be over. Come on, lads. Overturn the deficit as we head to Portugal. Keep our Europa League dreams alive. We do it! Oh my god, our Europa League dreams are alive. Imagine if we win a major European trophy with Drahido United. Dortmund in the last 16. This is massive. At home for the first leg here. Come on, Mullen. Bag yourself a hat trick, mate. It's another. Oh, we just hate to set ourselves up for success. We're going to have to pull off another Benfica comeback here. Heading to the Signal Laduna Park. And we do not do it. It's a 2-0 loss. The run is over. All right, surely... Surely we're going to get some better offers in next year. We've cracked 30 goals for the first time in our career. We've got ourselves up to an 83. It's our best season of growth since season number one. And we are 30 years of age now. We are truly about to enter Fergie time. We are absolutely dominating the Irish League here. Getting closer and closer to getting an undefeated and invincible season. Scoring 94 goals in a season as a team is absolutely cooked we finished 23 points ahead of the next team no 30 no yeah 23 points that's crazy our trophy cabinet is truly filling up every year and this year we don't even have to worry about the preliminary rounds we topped our europa league group it just keeps on going up lads our potential 96 this year we might be taking a little bit of a risk but again i'm gonna throw us on the transfer list and with a valuation of 70 million pounds we're gonna have to have some of the world's best teams looking at us Fatih's Oh my, look at the value. Fatih's value is 140. Marcus Frost is 100 million. Alexander Gomes is 74. We have built an unbelievable team here at Drahida United. Am I making a mistake for wanting to leave Drahida? Interesting. Galatasaray have come in for us here. Not quite who I expected. However, I can't see us winning a Ballon d'Or in the Turkish League. What the fuck? Sunderland? 83 million pounds from Sunderland. What division are they playing in? Sunderland aren't even in the Premier League. We should have probably gone to Sheffield United though. They're coming seventh in the Prem. Sunderland are in the championship on 44 points. Should we go and try getting them a push into the Premier League? We could become a legend at Sunderland. What's their roster looking like? I mean, it's not terrible. It's not great, but man, I don't know if I want to go in and try rescuing another club here. Try rebuilding a club. Sorry, Sunderland. If we had more time on our side, I definitely would have considered it a lot more. These offers, Espan, where are these clubs getting this money from? Another Turkish club in Trabzonspor. The transfer window has come and gone, and the offers have just been so damn weird. This has been one of the weirdest videos I have made, to be fair. Screw it. We're going to try going on another Europa League run with Drahida. It's as if the FIFA gods or the EAFC gods don't want us to leave. A huge challenge here, though, in the last 16. We've got Atletico Madrid. This is where we fell down last season. What's it going to be like here this year? Against Atletico Madrid, we win the first leg 3-1. Fati with a brace. Huge advantage here as we head back to home. Can we get ourselves to the quarterfinals and keep the dream alive? Yes, we do. A two-all draw. Come on, Drahita United. This video has turned into a Drahita rebuild as much as it is trying to win a Ballon d'Or. Quarterfinal time. We've got Stade Rene off to France with the first leg here. Come on, Drahida. No, it's a 2-0 loss. We need to pull off one of the great comebacks in European football to keep the season alive, which we do not. We've gone from the round of 16 to the quarters, so naturally next year we're going to go semi-finals. We miss out on cracking 29 goals by one goal. We get seven assists, though. I'm telling you, though, this Boubacar Fatih guy is going to give us a run for our money in the Ballon d'Or. He might beat us to win a Ballon d'Or eventually, but I need to move. It is hit or miss whether I can catch the Ballon d'Or cutscenes playing in this league. I don't know what it is. I go to the, I watch every day where it normally comes through in October and November, and I still can't see it every other year. We're leaving Drohida. 
regardless next season. 87 rated. We need to make our big move. 31 years of age. It's getting tight. Oh my God. We're in the Champions League. We're in the Champions League round of 16. Oh my God. Is this going to force me to stay again? We're in the round of 16 of the Champions League. Jesus. <laughs> Oh my, okay. All right, I got three things to talk about. We were one loss away from going invincible. We were two goals from scoring 100 goals in the season. And we were one point away from being Centurions in the Irish League. What? And we had another Irish League trophy. This is crazy, man. We got to do it though, lads. Let's go check out the potential and get a move away. It's been a great time here, but we need to go to a big club and win ourselves a Ballon d'Or. Our potential has gone up by just one this year, which is expected. There is little room room to grow we have 97 potential though so i don't really have room to complain man i need to see what bubakar fatty's potential is looking at bubakar fatty has 99 potential he's got 99 potential oh my god our transfer value is 129 million pounds though so i imagine only the big clubs can come in he's at 180 get out of here oh here i am thinking we're gonna get the big clubs coming in for us southampton come in interesting okay interesting so the uefa team of the year is announced at a different time to the ballon d'or we have been nominated onto the uefa team of the year here in 2035 interesting sheffield united have come in for us again if they are still in the top sort of teams in the premier league i honestly might accept this mm, no nah, sheffield united they're in the rel wait where did they go were they in the did sheffield united end up getting relegated they did what? Yeah, we're definitely not going there. Mm, the team of the year came out for UEFA. Had to move my head there. But as you can see, it was a Drahita player. Two Drahita United players making the team of the year. Frost and Fati. But the forwards were Hoyland and Garnacho. We're here on deadline day. And this is our third offer. It's Freiburg. I'm so confused why none of the big clubs are coming in for us. Is it because we played a less prestigious club? I would rather stay a Drahita. We're in the Champions League round of 16, for God's sake. This has got to be one of the most most confusing videos I've made. God, another January window comes and goes. This this rebuild just, this video confuses me. Maybe I'll just let our contract expire at the end of this season. No Champions League glory though. We have been eliminated in the quarterfinals to Barcelona. I'm a little concerned lads, I'm not gonna lie. 24 goals, only going up plus one this year. I'm hoping our age isn't putting a break on our career. And I'm also a little worried that we created a monster that's gonna ruin us in Bubakar Fati. Honestly, I've tried to be really selective about the offers that I even consider. We have to go next year. We have to, even if it's like a Southampton or a Sheffield United, I feel like we have to leave because we're not gonna be able to do this at Drahida. It just feels like the game doesn't respect Drahida. It doesn't respect what we're doing. We need to go. We're created a dynasty one of the greatest teams if not the greatest in irish footballing history it just feels like we've, we've been ready to go for three years at this point i am certainly praying with every fiber in my being that our potential hasn't gone down <laughs> our potential certainly hasn't gone down it's a 99 we have 99 potential it just throws me off because we've got 99 potential but we only went up one overall last year we might have 99 potential but man i don't know if the age is gonna let us get there if we don't crack the 90s this year, I don't. I honestly don't think we ever will. Please, just somebody please come in for us. <sighs> Hanover 96. Where is Hanover 96 getting 150 million pounds from? They aren't even in the top division. They're a second division side. Are you serious? Hanover 96. They're in the Bundesliga 2. I can't win a Ballon d'Or playing in Bundesliga 2. Oh. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We gotta do it. It's my favorite club. It's Fulham. We have to. They've offered us 198 million. I have to accept that one. I don't know if we're in the Prem or the Championship at this point, but we're going to Craven Cottage with me at Mullen. Once again, though, lads, we have been nominated for the UEFA Team of the Year forward shortlist. I just don't know if we're gonna get a Ballon d'Or. I can't even find the goddamn cellar ceremony anymore. I can't talk English clearly either, but off to Craven Cottage we go. It has gone through. Miat Mullen is gonna, oh no, there's a championship badge. There's a championship badge on our arm. Miat Mullen goes to Fulham, but there's a championship badge on our arm. All right, here goes nothing. Off to Fulham we go. And yep, here we come in. We come in halfway through the season because we're in January. We're top of the championship. We need to get promoted up to the Prem next year. And we need Mullen to hit the ground running in what is a pretty interesting default squad. 
This video is going to send me to an early grave, lads. Had to bring in a center midfielder, though, to fix up this squad a little bit. So we're going to poach our main man, Liam Dickinson, from Johita United. It's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. We have finished. We only got to play half a season, so it's not a great way to figure it out. But only six goals. We've gone down one overall to an 87 in 11 games. I'm losing hope. I'm losing hope. I'm losing hope. Damn, we almost bottled the title. We almost bottled automatic promotion. We bottled the title. We come second, but we're up to the Premier League next year. And our boys, Drahita United, actually made it to the Champions League semi final. Everton won the Champions League. Half a season at Fulham. The, ca the calendar has been flipped, so we're going to get to find out really early next year who wins the Ballon d'Or. Oh, shit. That was the last year. That was the last year. No. I didn't even realize. 2035, no, 2038, and we are at the end of the career. We're failed, lads. We have failed to win the worst player a Ballon d'Or in one of the messiest and most chaotic and weirdest videos I have ever made. This is our third year of trying to complete this challenge, and for the first time, we have failed. The worst player in EAFC is unsavable. Damn, I've had a rough 24 hours, lads. I watched FC Cincinnati bottle a 2-0 lead in the playoffs. Fulham lost in the 89th minute today against Liverpool after having a lead, and now I've failed this video. I'm gonna go cry. I need to go see a therapist or something, my god.